And we spawned in a desert. Of course we do. The one spot where I can't get trees. The most crucial thing that I need to start off with. Hopefully this desert small and right over the other side is like something that I can use. A desert temple. Okay. Decent start. I don't think it's going to have wood, but it's still cool. One life. So I really got to be careful here. Here's the entrance. Okay. Break the pressure plate. Three diamonds. Got two of the armor trims. Maybe I'll use them. Maybe I won't. Two golden apples. See, I've never played this version. So the fact that we're getting armor trims could be fun to mess around with. Just stack our way back out of here. Perfect. But for the time being, I'm just gonna be running for my life. <laughs> I've never beaten Minecraft before, so after over five years of playing, I think it's finally time to do just that. Yes, finally, our first tree, we can get tools. First log acquired, let's go. At this point, I would take a jungle, like I know that's gonna lead to my death from creepers, but at least it has wood that we can use. How deep does this go? Okay, finally. It's like 10 stones. Stone Age, there we go. A pickaxe, axe, and a sword. I ended up finding a mountain covered in trees, and while breaking them for wood, I discovered a village just there we on go. the other side. There we go, a desert, er, a desert village, yes. Perfect timing. First thing I did was gather all the hay bales so I could finally get some food, then stole one of the villagers' beds to get through the first night. Literally, our first achievement was diamonds. That's still crazy. <laughs> we got diamonds before we got wood. Honestly, I'm gonna abandon this village. Maybe take the cords down if I need to come back to it, but it's not that good of a village. But before leaving, I raided the rest of the houses and killed the iron golem. Die, die. Yes. First, we get the mesa biome. Now we get a coral wreath. It's like cool and all, but I would love some grass. You know, some grass, some dirt. Could be could be really nice to have that. I called it. I literally called it. What did I say earlier? The first thing we're gonna find is a jungle and I'll take it. We're no longer stranded without wood, but there is food over there. Death to all animals, as I like to say. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Shouldn't have come down here. Should not have come down here. There's another one. With an apple. Like, I understand why people told me to now try to do it with one life, because this is horrifying. Ooh, another ruined portal. Could be our key to the nether. From what I'm seeing, it only needs two more pieces. I have one. Okay, this is where we're setting up base. One more piece of obsidian and we're heading to the nether. No way. That's lava. Okay, let's sleep and go check that lava. Is that there. Grab that and place it here. And here we go. Into the great beyond. The great beyond. This is a pretty bad spawn, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna go any farther though because I don't have any gold. So even if we challenge or like try to explore we're gonna die from a or something so we have our nether portal we have some food we have literally a bunch of stuff but now we got to get iron so we'll spend the next like 20 minutes heading down into the mines that sort of stuff four five six seven eight Hey, that's not bad, that's not bad. No idea where it is. Over here? Nice, right here. Don't worry, I didn't get lost. I still haven't taken the coordinates, but I didn't get lost. And then I can just go like that, that, and that. Okay, craft ourselves a chest plate as our first piece of armor. A shield, because one of the most important things that I always forget to get. And I think I might be ready to head into the nether. And I just want to let you guys know, if you have any challenge ideas, you can just let me know in the comments below. And who knows, they might become a video idea. But while you're commenting that, let's just mine through this wall and get myself to the fortress. And here's our first skeleton.
Uh. Golden apple. We're one heart. No. <gasps> no. Let's start doing like a ticker, like near death experiences. I'm not releasing my shift button at all, no matter what. <gasps> oh my gosh, jump scares. Jeez. There it is. We finally found one. But the nether fortress was all the way on the other side of the lava. So I started to make my way across. It wasn't easy, but when I finally got in, I found my first blaze. And we got a blaze rod, let's go. Then I continued exploring till I found a blaze spawner. I tried fighting head on, but I was still too weak. So instead I hid around corners, which still wasn't enough to keep me from getting down to one heart multiple times. No, no, no. Heal, heal, heal. Oh my, oh, what the heck? I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, that's 10, 12 for the portal and eight for me. That works. Let's get out of here. Ooh, three diamonds. Glad I checked this one. And with that decision made, I started to head back to the portal, but at some point I got lost, and since my only clue was that I was close to zero zero, I started in that direction with my food slowly getting low. Until by some miracle, I stumbled across one of the paths from my earlier exploring, which took me back to my base. Look at this place. It's so good to be back. I've been gone for like an hour at least. We have the 10 blaze rods. We didn't get any more ender pearls. We now have six diamonds. So we could start going for enchants, but instead I went back into the nether to gather gold for trading with piglins. Okay, target acquired. Get him trapped. Gather more gold. Really, if I looted that bastion over there, I'd be able to get a bunch of gold, but it's gonna be absolute, like, chaos. Fire resistance pot, that's helpful. But not what we're looking for. No, no, no. Oh no, it died right there. Cool, we got our first Ender Pearl. Finally, yes, our first four, so that puts us up to five ender pearls total. Okay, since we're finding such little gold now, I thought it would be a good idea to make an enchant table since we had the resources from trading. I also managed to get a bunch of sugar cane from the river surrounding my base. So we'll place the book there, the diamond there, or wait, no, it's diamond there, diamond there. We got our enchant table, there we go. Efficiency, efficiency. I really need some fortune, so I'm gonna risk it on this right there. Just efficiency, that's unfortunate. There's one ender pearl. To the piglin I trapped and hopefully is still there because we have five more stacks of gold. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to lose my mind. We don't want, oh, this guy's, oh, cause he's wearing armor. Oh, that's nice. There you go. How did I not get a single ender pearl from 40 gold? This is a complete scam, I swear. 
I'm thinking it might be worth just risking it maybe. The sun does look like it's setting, so we'll head out as soon as the morning starts to hopefully find ourselves the uh, stronghold. And if we're lucky enough, there should hopefully be pearls in there we can use to fill the portal and head to the end. First eye of Ender. That way, we need for food. There's surprisingly. This is honestly a crazy shot. I have to make sure to use this in replay mod. Oh, we passed it. Oh, that's crazy. That wasn't that far, that means. Don't mind down like right here. Played it that long. Don't pickaxe. Not that bad. <laughs> it's a little bad. Oh, there it is. We found it. Okay. Break in. I spy. From there, I searched every room looking for the portal until I decided to head down a set of stairs. I gotta say, this is probably the biggest struggle with doing it by myself. Just navigating through the entire thing. But we found it. Okay, in the moment of truth, we need it to only need five ender pearls and it needs... Oh my gosh, it needs 10 of them? The only way I could think to get more eyes was to head back to the nether, so I used the lava to create a portal. The portal had spawned me high up in the sky with no nearby land, so I spent the next 10 minutes carefully bridging across the lava till I found a place to drop down that ended up being next to a bastion. Since this is a smaller bastion, I think we can take it on. These things will literally one-shot me. Oh, that's tempting. But before I could get there, I needed to fight off all the nearby brutes. When I finally saw that it was clear, I dropped down and began collecting the loot. Let's check our spoils. We got the templates, some ancient debris, two enchanted golden apples. Okay, that is awesome. And hopefully with 124 golden ingots, I can get the last five eyes. This doesn't happen, I'm gonna lose my mind. First four ender pearls, let's go. Only four more. And we now officially have enough ender pearls to do what we need to do. And to think, all we needed to do was raid a bastion. Here is our portal. Let's head back through. That was definitely a challenge. But when I came out of the portal, I spawned on the surface. So I decided just to head back to my base and do some last minute preparations before going to fight the dragon. And there it is, Mikasa, home sweet home. Well, it's more of a shack, but it, it's my home. As long as it holds all my items, we're good. Sharpness two, sweeping edge, not too crazy. Brought two, nice. Disenchant, disenchant. Disenchant. Helmets. Is it supposed to apply? Look at us. We wasted an entire piece of netherite on this. So nice. Darkness 3 Diamond Sword to help us beat the Ender Dragon. Very nice. So I guess let's get to the end. Ugh. Okay, let's craft those Eyes of Ender. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's open. Okay. And here we go. The end? Okay. Um. Now I have to mine our way up. Hopefully I'm going in the right direction. Here we go, the sky. I hear the dragon. I saw the dragon. Oh no, I forgot about the Enderman. I was so excited to beat the game for the first time that I forgot I was recording. I had built up to the top tower and began shooting all the crystals with my bow. Then I dropped down and took out the last four that I couldn't reach before. Jeez, I'm gonna get all the crystals before it even tries to hit me. 
and when I got that final crystal, I could already see my victory. We did a lot of damage there. Power 4 is coming in clutch. But my aim isn't. Jeez. Okay, I just... Still just flying around up there. He's, he's having fun. I don't know. I'm just going to make sure he dies. But it looks like... Oh, he's perching again. There it is. Water bucket clutch. Let's go. Jeez. And that's why we placed the water. Because that would have killed me if I didn't clutch there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Third of its health is left. Looks like it's perching. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. I'm not like a pro gamer at this or anything, but I kind of want to finish him with my fist. Okay, there we go. With the fist. Yeah, let's go. I did it with the fist. Free the end. That guy is dead. Get pictured on, boy. <laughs> yes, let's go. The final hit was with... The, how many levels are we going to get? But the final hit was with my fist. Exactly how I wanted to do it. First time ever beating Minecraft by myself. And really ever beating it. Because all the other times I was carried really hard. And yeah, let's go. But without further ado, hope you enjoyed the video. Consider leaving a like. And like always, have a great day.